So Alan, uh, W2AW, put out a video, and of course I got jealous. Um, he had built a 500-volt uh, power supply, and in fact it was a kit. Not really a kit, but it was a, a, a PC board design you could buy from a company, you know, just a garage shop setup. And it used, um, it used a one-to-one -one, um, AC uh, transformer, so you have 110 volts here, and then... You have 110 volts here, and the way that it worked is um, it was a center tapped arrangement. So you arranged it so that you got 200 and 210 volts over here, and then you 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 got those two voltages, and then you stacked them on top of one another to get your full 500. And then it had a potentiometer that you could change the voltage on and stuff. And so. I took a look at that and went, oh, I want one of those. Of course, that's always the way it is, right? Oh, I want one of those. Um, the way that I, and it's to be used for capacitive leakage testing, right? You need a high voltage sometimes if you want to test a capacitor at 400 volts. Well, you need 400 volts. And the way that I've done that in the past is to use my um, impedance bridge, uh, my, my uh, ZM11 impedance bridge. Um, uh, I'll put a picture here. And that has a... Uh, capacitance tester on it, and it has a built-in power supply that's zero to 500 volts, and so that's, that's what I use, but I do have to drag it out, and, and uh, it sits under my bench, so it's not the most convenient thing. Not that I'm testing capacitors all that often, but anyway, I thought, well, you know, I've wanted a high-voltage standalone power supply for some time, actually, and it just comes in handy once in a while for maybe working on, um, working on uh, Nixie tubes and stuff like that. So um, I actually did build, I actually did build this little box. I never made a video of it, but this little box has a DC to DC converter on it. And so you put five volts here and you get high voltage over here and there's an adjustment pot and you can adjust it and get high voltage out here. And this is set to, I think, 165 volts, which is great for Nixie tube work. So if I'm working on Nixie tubes or, or neons or something like that, I'll use this. Um, and it comes in really, really handy. So, um, I began to think about the design that was used on that one that Alan had, and I became very nervous about the potentiometer. I don't exactly know where that goes in the circuit because uh, they don't publish the schematics for that particular design. So I really don't know how how it actually works, and I can't test its. Um, I can't test whether I want it or not. Just you know, you say I can look at a schematic and say, oh, okay, that's really really cool. I'll go ahead and buy the PC board or whatever. I couldn't I couldn't make a decision because uh, they didn't give me enough data. Um, so I started thinking about it more, and I remember this thing that I built, and then I looked around on eBay and I found this. So this is my perfect solution for the 500 volt power supply. It is a DC to DC converter, and it goes from uh, 5 volts in to 0 to 1,000 volts out. <laughs> and uh, it has a uh, 555 timer and a FET, and I think I've showed this before, circuits like this. You just whack on and off the 555, whack on and off the FET, and here's a high voltage transformer, a little flyback transformer, and you get a high voltage on this side, and you get a certain voltage on this side. All right, so um, you have the, the, the transformer and you, and you get a high voltage AC. In fact, there's a pin here that you can monitor that high voltage AC, and then you rectify it with a diode and capacitor and you get high voltage DC. And then there's a couple of doubler circuits in here. So you can then take that, use it as a reference and double on top of that. And then there's another diode you can double on top of that. And then another diode you can double on top of that. You can bump it up to a thousand volts this way. And uh, this, this board that I found uh, actually has a little, a little sign here. It says five volts in, you'll get uh, a certain voltages on, uh, on these three pins. Uh, let me get something to point with. Um, you'll get... Um, voltage on this pin, this pin, this pin, and then the output pin. So it gets bigger and bigger each time. So, you know, big, bigger, bigger, biggest, right? And uh, and so you can get anything on the output you want, and then there's an adjustment. Now, this adjustment does not go from 0 to 500, which would be nice. It, it does not do that, but it does do it in ranges, okay? So if you use one of these, you might go from 50 volts to 100 volts, the next one goes from 100 volts to 200 volts, the next one goes from, you know, 200 volts to 400 volts, and then, you know, anyway, you, we'll, we'll see it on the measurements here, but that's what this board is. So, um, 
I'm very, very happy that the potentiometer is on this side of the board. This is all five volt section. And so you can touch over here all you want. You're not going to get zapped. And if you run this potentiometer out to the front panel, it's a five volt potentiometer. So there's no way that it could leak out to the front. The other circuit, I was a bit nervous that maybe the potentiometer had high voltage on it. And that was coming out to the front panel. And maybe the shaft on the uh, potentiometer might have high voltage on it. I just don't know. I, I couldn't see the schematic. Um, so uh, it made me look around for this board. Now this board, I think, cost me twelve dollars or fifteen dollars something like that so it's much much cheaper too so it's much smaller it's much cheaper and i think it's much fat it's much safer and um you don't need a lot of current for testing capacitors right this probably doesn't have a lot of current output but for testing capacitors you know if you have a lot of current your capacitor's dead right so this is like the perfect board for testing capacitors i'm really really happy with it so um yeah let's hook it up we need uh let me find I, I soldered these wires on so uh let's hook up uh Let's hook up five volts and we'll hook up the, the output and the grounds are floating. The grounds are not common between the two. So there's isolation there too, which is really, really nice. So uh, let's see here, we've got ground and we've got plus five. And uh, yeah, let me, let me rearrange the camera. All right, I have it hooked up to my uh, triplet meter here and the we're gonna be using the uh, 1200 volt scale. So it goes, from zero to 12 here. So 600, volt, uh, 600 volts is in the middle, 800, 1,000, and then 12, 12, so yeah, 1,000, and then 1,200. Um, so let's turn on the five volts. And there we go. So we're getting uh, 600 volts out of the, uh, out of the thing. Let me get a capacitor, a uh, capacitor, let me get a, uh, why did I say capacitor? Let me get a screwdriver to adjust this thing. All right, so I don't want to touch on this, though, but I can touch over here and I can adjust my, there we go. You can see I can lower it down to about 450 volts and I can take it up to a thousand volts. And yes, yeah, it, it works good to about a thousand volts. So, uh, so 450 to a thousand volts on this scale. Uh, so I'll leave it here at 600. And then we can go down to the other uh, the other test points, which I don't want to zap. Let's see, so the next test point here goes from 450 to, let's see here, goes from about 350 to 450, uh, 500. So 350 to 500, something like that. And then the next test point goes between, uh, uh, say 250 and 450 and then the next test point goes between uh, about uh, let's see this is 200 100, 150 volts to uh, 150 volts to about uh, let's see, no, I'm reading it wrong about 200 volts to this one doesn't yeah there's not much range on this particular one um, goes between about 250 and maybe 150 or something like that. Anyway, uh, the output is great. The output is this huge range, is, which is what you want. Um, so, yeah, I have it really high right now. Um, so there you go, All right? You want 500 volt testing? There it is. 600 volt testing? Yeah, there it is. And then, uh, and then the other one. So what I would do is I would put this in a box and I would have a, probably just use two of these one that went from the uh, 450 to, to, to 1,000, and then use the next one, which goes between about 300 volts and 500 volts. Three to, so it'd be three to five, and then four and a half to 1,000. So that would be, that'd be the perfect range for capacitor testing. Um, any, any, anything else, I'll use other supplies. Um, so yeah, I think this will be my high voltage supply. And, uh, really, really safe. So I can put my fingers over here. I don't want to put them over here, but I can put my fingers all day long over on this, this side of the board and I'm perfectly safe and uh, super small, super cheap and ready to go. Looks good.